もぐもぐーおかゆー That's right, from Holomive Gamers, we have Nendroid1860 Nekomate Okayu. Corny's TT Cat Friend. Honestly, I've been really excited for this one because Corny was just one of, if not my most favorite Nendroids that I've got. And honestly, this one just looks absolutely fantastic as well. She comes with, as to be expected, a wide variety of different poses and extra things. So let's have a look. Yeah. As always, swap face plates, swap arm and leg parts, exclamation mark. Product will not stand on its own. Please use the stand included. Customer support is only available for damaged products, not for damaged packaging. So if you decide to just punch this packaging, they will not replace it. But if you decide to punch your Caillou and she gets badly damaged, they will still not do it. You monster, why punch her? So yeah, um, a very nice box. As you can see, you get parts for Coronier. Cute to look at, fun to play with, and great to collect. Nendroids! Good smile, Dr. Coda, JP. Right, we've talked enough about this box. Let's get her open, shall we? <laughs> Right, so let's have a look at it properly, shall we? Honestly, as to be expected, and I see this every single time, another fantastic quality Nendroid. The face on this one is absolutely perfect. And you know what? The pop-up parade was pretty good, but it kind of didn't really capture Okayu perfectly, but this one does. And you know what? I think it's the inclusion of that that snaggle tooth, you know, the cat snaggle tooth. That's just a really fun addition. I really like it. And I really like the whole hair motif. It just really looks kind of uncombed, unbrushed. And you, you can tell straight away this is a cat. This is a cool looking cat. So as we move down, she has her hoodie. Something that I'm quite surprised they never really capitalized on making was more Okayu or Hololive hoodies in general. It just feels like they kind of did a few here and there, but didn't really like go all in on it. You can see her collar just underneath there. And as we can expect, the eyes look absolutely gorgeous. I think every Hololive member has really nice eyes. So we have a few little like purple stripes and uh, little purple bits on there. It's actually a quite a, a basic um Nendroid, a basic design, it doesn't really have much that kind of like stands out, but it just looks really nice and really accurate to the character herself. Really nice jogging pants or tracky pants or comfy pants, that's what I like to call them. And of course, bright yellow shoes. That's again a really well detailed, there's no blotches or any kind of horrible looking things. And once the camera decides it's going to let me show it, you can actually pose her teal rather well. You can do it on both sides, but I've decided to put the thing on. Stop showing Kiara. There we go. We can see the teal if we just blur out Kiara. Kiara is too powerful. <laughs> so. Here we have her with a rice ball, or if you're a Pokemon fan, a jelly donut. Honestly, I'm not going to lie, this was a little bit more awkward than you might expect just to make this pose. Um, even though I haven't changed the face plate, the arms come very weird in the fact that you, like this shoulder bit, you don't get that duplicated. They just make these forearms, but you actually do get an extra shoulder bit, which 
are these tiny bits here but they don't work for this pose and it's just needlessly complicated just because good smiles try to save money by me not making duplicates of smaller bits to clip on for every single situation it's annoying but you know what this is a really nice one Kiara come on This is a huge fun one. I, I really like this uh, little pose. So a really happy crying face with a peace sign that, yeah, I, it's just a fun one in general. This is one of the suggested ones on the whole of the actual box itself. So yeah, um, I just kind of followed it. I probably wouldn't do this as an actual one, um, but yeah, it's really fun. Another interesting pose, and I'm not gonna lie, I really love this smug looking face. It is just such a great expression on her. Really like that. Um, one of the other things that she does get is she gets a pair of finger bang um, hands. I don't know if that's the correct name for it. I just always, whenever I say that, I always get the impression of that one South Park episode, which, yeah. <laughs> It's a um, yeah, it's a unique one, and we will see another version like this in a few seconds. I am sweet, cute cat. So next up, we have two of the same figures as well as these really really crappy looking sunglasses i'm not gonna lie i don't think good smile do these sunglasses particularly well while it is a cool accessory for okayu i don't know they just never seem to look right i just never get them onto the actual face looking really good they always look like they're kind of separated but you know what if you put them on you can't see her great eyes. One thing I do kind of wish with uh, Okayu though was that they did like um, like for her and Corinne they put the brainy specs on. That would have just been brilliant. That would have been absolutely fantastic to have them on, but sadly not. While we're also here, we can also talk about Okayu's little cat. I don't know what this is called. I'm going to assume it's called Porridge. Answers on a postcard or in the comments section. Let me know what this guy's called. But also looks really cute. I can kind of see that they did kind of have the idea of doing Coroni and Okayu at the same time because they, this is very similar to the dog from Coroni as well. I love you. You are so cute. So that is Okayu and yeah, a really nice Hololive figure. I'm not gonna lie though, I don't think she's quite as good as Coronet, which makes this one a little bit of a shame considering they release at the same time. And the only reason being is that I don't feel like they put nearly as many cool features in this one as they did with Coronet. Nearly everything is kind of just different types of hands and the, I just, I don't know, the, the expressions, the facial expressions are all fine. I'm not sure on this one as much. It doesn't seem quite as fun. But I don't know. I just felt like Coronet came with so many accessories and so many unique things. Whereas this one, not so much. Which is a huge shame. Um, but I'm not going to let that be a negative against it. It's still a really cool figure. And honestly, Okayu is a really fun character in, on her own. But... This was obviously built in mind with the fact that the idea is you've bought Coronier, you'll also buy Okayu. Or you've bought Okayu, you'll also buy Coronier. And why is that? Well, you do get an accessory that links them both together. That's right. We get a pause for absolute perfection. Absolute. 
absolute perfection. So guys, what is your thoughts on the Okayu Nendroid? Do you love her? Are you indifferent to her? Let me know in the comments. And if you do enjoy this, go check out the Coronier Nendroid unboxing I did a few weeks ago. See you over there.